Well, it's March 6, 2023, and that means the new update here. Lazar's Heritage Campaign has started. And let's see, we have the Atlantico. It is the first Pan American ship. And all right, it's a tier seven battleship that we can find in the store with powerful secondaries. So uh, we'll check out the store items there in a second. And the Lazar's Heritage Campaign, French tier eight cruiser Carno is the ultimate prize this time and the cruiser hits hard it's speedy and it's well protected so that's always good on a cruiser and the campaign runs until april 10 available with admiralty backing of uh, ten dollars basically next is the pan asian cruisers are in full access and all right so the arrival of the tier 8 sejong and yeah, they're now fully researchable, so you're gonna to wanna to check that out. I really do like the Pan-Asia cruisers, especially the higher tier, the tier six and tier seven. Harbin was, uh, wow, that was really a great cruiser. Be interesting to see if the Sejong uh, takes that a step further. All right, next is tier eight task force, and this is five new tier eight ships that are going in the tech tree and it's the American ships Seattle and Minnesota, Japanese Kitakaze, British Drake, and the Pan-Asian Chengmu. Shellafin Bureau, we'll be checking that out. I uh, do have an open slot, so we'll be uh, activating that Bureau project here. All right, looks like a few interesting options here in the Feature tab. First is the Atlantico XXL package. 25,000 doubloons, that is right around $100 or so. Let's see what you get. And it's the usual ship, a flag, five insignias, and these normally go for $10 a piece. So that is $50 worth of insignias right there. 10 promotion orders and epic boosters across the board, it looks like. But it's your standard uh, right around $100 or so price tag for the Atlantico. Bureau Project Shellafin. So, uh, <laughs> okay, so here's 30 million silver credits and yes, they can be free earned in battle, but if you try to buy them in the store, it is $40 for 15 million silver credits. So here, the Shellafin Bureau Project for 30 million silver credits is basically a $80 value worth of silver credits and you could do that but um, e economically 5,000 doubloons here is $20 and yeah this will probably be the one that I will uh, select because economically as I said it's more efficient I want to use the credits to buy tier 8 ships or other items in the tech tree um, yeah so uh, you only got a month and I would go ahead and pick this up for only $20 if this is a bureau project that um, you were interested in. Let's go check it out. Are we going to get to check out the bureau project? No, but I am sure that the um, shelf and bureau project will have um, requirements on stages, on segments, not stages, but segments uh, 5 and 9 or 10 where you need specific ships to progress through the Bureau project, otherwise uh, you're not gonna be able to make it through. So, all right, so let's check out the Golden Road. Looks like a personal mission here. You get an insignia for 2,000 doubloons. Insignias are normally 2,500 doubloons. So uh, for less than the price of, normal going price of an insignia, this is a personal mission i'm not really let's see let uh purchase this mission and get yourself some commander progression items and more in-game goods upon completing it the task will be available under campaign and mission tab so all right that's uh two thousand doubloons that's about eight dollars or so and here one thousand or one thousand one million silver credits and you get another, it looks like another personal mission, which will, ex mission expires in a month, so you have a month to complete all these missions, and you get five promotion orders, which is kind of like a throw-in, I think. 
And 1 million silver credits is valued right around 600 doubloons, just over $2. So that's uh, what the value is on this item. I'm going to have to get those progression items. I'm going to have to get those personal missions and see what they are. Uh, common bundle and the Sims. All right, so let's see if we have anything here under doubloons. Nope, normal offerings there. Right under the offers, you have your normal daily reward. Let's check out the common bundle. And yeah, just a, uh, it's about the same value as that. Um, silver mission for 1 million silver credits, uh, 650 doubloons here. You get 12 crates. Uh, these are the spring big crates. And you can get some uh, premium ships there. You get two of those. It's probably uh, probably worth a shot. Um, uncommon bundle. Let's see here. It's a bunch of camo and some Commander XP, and out of all the XP that you can um, earn, the Commander XP is the easiest to obtain. Rare bundle, uh, yeah, okay. Now these had the epic boosters with the three stars. This might be something, but uh, okay. All right, uh, let's see what the... Um, coupon is here and you get th three bonus premium days account with bundles of boosters or doubloons don't really need more premium days somebody may deluxe bundle you get an insignia here and you get three crates you get uh, an insignia each of these items are worth uh, 2,500 doubloons normally, and that's why you see the 10,000 doubloons is marked out. So this is $40 worth of items for uh, $30. And then you get the uh, bonus there. You get 15% off select Japanese premium ships. Legendary bundle. Oh boy, Tiger 59. Um, personally, I like the ship. Uh, it, uh, a lot of people really um, don't like it. Uh, it um, has the same guns as the Minotaur, but it's got um, two turrets instead of um, five turrets with ten guns. So it has a lot, a lot lower firepower. Uh, it doesn't have torpedoes, but it apparently makes a huge difference. If you have a Tiger 59 on your team, chances are you are going to win. And you have all these... Um, Epic boosters across the board, and you have a 20% coupon on select British commanders. All right. All right, let's see if we have anything in the store. Okay, so the um, bureau projects are in the store, and here the Atlantico, instead of $100, you can buy the ship only for 17,500 doubloons, that's $70. Let's see if we have any bargains on anything. The Sims, it's $40 instead of $50. Let's see if, uh, okay, so we have these bureau projects here. Are there any actual bargains on anything? No, it looks like just the Sims. All right, let's check out the supply real quick. Uh, you never know, there might be something there. Camos, if they're going to have any new camos. No. Okay. So, okay, we're going to go ahead and buy the uh, Shellafin Bureau Project for 5,000 doubloons. All right, so let's go check out the Shellafin Bureau Project. All right, yeah, I'm researching the Napoli. Let's go ahead and activate the Shellaflin. All right, we're going to view the project. And let me see. All right, so let's continue here. Next thing we'll check out is the campaign. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Admiral backing purchases. And your options are $110 worth of doubloons here or $10 worth of doubloons. And uh, yeah, uh, those are your options. 
I happen to think it's worth 2,500 doubloons to get any tier 8 ship, especially when uh, a tier 7 ship goes for $70. So uh, if you're going to be logging in pretty much every day and playing the game and um, yeah, having fun, I think there's no reason not to do that. All right, let's check out the Karna. Woo, that's kind of a crazy looking camo there. So let's assign a commander. All right, so I have Andre Rue ranked up to the max here. So he is going to be my guy, whether he's the right guy or not. That's who I'm going to go with to start out with. And let's check out the stats. 6.3 kilometer secondary range for a cruiser is pretty darn good. I don't really pay too much attention to secondaries on cruisers, but there you go. There might be something to be said there on that. 16 kilometer range, uh, 25 second reload time. That is a little bit slow on a cruiser. 29 second traverse time, that is also slow on a cruiser AA defenses that looks like a lot of guns you might be able to clear the sky 38 knot speed I'm not sure if a uh, agile build is the way to go here but uh, I think I have Andre Roo set up for an agile build because this is my guy on the Colbert and the Charlemagne so I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to go with that and yeah, for um, upgrade slot three, we're going to go with uh, rudder shift instead of concealment. All right, so let's check out uh, the armor view. And let's see what so the bow armor is. Looks like 25. Check out the maneuverability. Rudder shift, <laughs> rudder shift time is 10 seconds. That's terrible. I don't think you really want to build this for an agile build um wow so okay let's uh go with that all right rudder shift time 5.1 seconds that might be pretty uh snappy i don't know if it's really an agile build or not but um 870 meter turning circle radius is kind of wide um, well, okay, well, that's what you got. So just have to make the best uh, of the situation. All right, well, that's it for the update aftermath on the Lazar's Heritage campaign and spring update of 2023. Let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like it. The ship is pretty uh, speedy with the engine mod on upgrade slot number two. You are accelerating pretty well. All right, there's Alabama pointing in the wrong direction. So this is a good, good deal right here at the moment anyway. Let's see if we can get some hits. Are we going to start some fires real quick? Oh, we do. All right. And now he's, <laughs> oh boy. He's got his guns on us. This is uh, potentially bad. Alabama. Let's see if we can keep the bow to him. Maybe you do want to do some bow tank in here. Ooh, another fire. That is awesome. So maybe the, and yeah, the Pomeran is getting kind of close. Ooh, we do start a fire set. It will be a perma fire, no doubt. And we do not want to uh, get this going right here. Uh-oh. All right. Good thing for us that uh, he missed. And we are going to get out of here. See if we can start a fire on him. And there's my teammate. Ooh, two fires. So this guy is in big trouble. And it looks like uh, at the first look here, the um, Karna is a big time fire starter. That is awesome. It's kind of unexpected. But wow. Yeah, so two fires on two ships. One of them's a perma fire. Maybe both are. That's awesome. All right, let's see if we can get the Wichita. And they put out both fires already. Ooh, the Wichita started on fire too. All right. Wow.